Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you how I use my bullet journal for crocheting. So I wanted to keep track of a few things in my bullet journal related to crocheting. So I'm just going to show you some of the spreads that I use for that. The first spread that I want to show you is one that tracks the crochet hooks that I have. I just wanted to keep a list of which hooks that I have so that if I'm out and about I know which ones I have and I don't have to buy any more. I usually have my bullet journal with me when I go out. So I just wanted to list these down as a quick reference. So I'm using a table format and I've got three different types of crochet hook sizing. So the metric, the USA and the UK sizing because these um, are often referred to in different patterns from those different places. It's really nice to have like a conversion chart and then also corresponding yarn weight and then the type of material that each hook is made out of. I'm going to create a little key down the bottom which is like a materials key. So I've got hooks that are made out of metal, plastic and bamboo. So those are the three materials that I'm going to put in my little key down the bottom. So green is for bamboo, blue is for metal and orange is for plastic. So I'm just taking my little crochet hooks and filling in the table now. The smallest one that I have at the moment is 2.5 metric, which is a C or a size 2 USA or a size 12 UK. And that's good for a number one yarn or a super fine yarn. We don't actually use number one here. I think that's American. But on the next page, I'm going to show you a yarn weight conversion table as well. So over on the next page is going to be my yarn description slash converter type thing. It's really hard when you're, it's really useful to have handy, easy to refer to conversion charts. Otherwise I always find myself having to Google it when I'm looking at patterns and that can be kind of annoying. So again, I'm using a table. I'm going to have the yarn and then the description. And then I actually, at the end of doing this table, I added in apply column as well, because with yarns and stuff in New Zealand, we use ply. So it could be eight ply, four ply, 12 ply, etc. We don't actually use like a, um, a zero to seven system like they do in the US. So what I'm writing down at the moment, I think is the, the US kind of description. So you've got the yarn number zero through seven and then the description. So for example, there's zero and that is a lace or thread or cobweb or light or fingering kind of um, yarn weight and what it's kind of good for. And then as you can see, I've added in the ply column now. So I've just added the corresponding ply to each of those yarn descriptions. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is writing down a crochet pattern in my bullet journal. I'm currently making a blanket and it's a really simple pattern. So I just wanted to write it down in my book so that I don't have to refer to my phone or keep my phone on as I'm crocheting because that can be kind of annoying. So this is a ripple blanket pattern from daisycottagedesigns.net. So I will leave a link to that down below. It's really, really beautiful. It's got a lovely wave kind of pattern. The pattern is for a baby blanket, but I'm making a grown-up sized blanket so I'm writing down materials, notes, and then the actual pattern itself. And then on the following page, I'm writing down the stripe pattern that the author of the pattern used herself. So I'm just writing that down. I don't know if I'm going to follow it exactly. I'm sort of following it uh, at the moment, but I might change it up depending on the yarns and what I run out of and all of that stuff. <laughs> and to keep track of my own yarn, I'm just doing this little table here. So I've got white, pink and gray, and I'll basically just check off when I use a ball of each of those colors. So at the end, I know exactly how much I've used, which is kind of cool. 
One last thing that I wanted to show you about how I use my bullet journal for crocheting is keeping track of rows. So I made this little crochet elephant, I'll leave a link to the pattern down below, and I just wanted to keep track of the rows for a lot of the different parts of this little elephant. So as you can see, I've got an R which marks the row, the row number, and then I just cross that off when I've completed that row. So this is it, this is how I'm using my bullet journal to help me with my crochet hobby. I hope you found it useful and that there will be some stuff that you can take away and use for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you again really soon. Bye!